Is that a shark? <laughs> How big was the fish? We're not stuck. All right, well. There you go! Eat the fish! The Musk Kingdom, let's go. We're going to the Musk Kingdom. What's up, Creek Kings? We are going fishing at the Musk Kingdom River. We've had luck there before. One of our favorite spots to fish. Let's get her going. I'm sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> We're getting gas while we freaking can because... It's about to be ale. How much? Per gallon was it? 293. 293. Can you believe that? 28 gallon tank. Can you believe that? We did it. We did it, Joe. This is the most terrible squeegee I've ever used. I mean, it's like super clean. Like, wow. Wow. Water. There's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, are you okay? Oh, there's our spot. It is completely underwater, bro. Like, the water's so up. Like, you used to be able to drive through there. We drove down and drove out about probably 50 yards. And it's and backed just, up to it's the water. just sitting water. There's no way I can get down there. It, that's, the, that's the entrance, isn't it? Yeah, we're past the entrance. Oh, what do we do then? I got another spot. Wasn't there another spot over there somewhere? Go oh, fish. Bruh. We're not stuck. Okay. What is it? We're not stuck. Four wheel dry work. Off to a great start. That's my four-wheel drive for you. This four-wheel drive doesn't work, but it uses it anyway. It, it works, but like, here, get a, you can get a good angle. Look, literally we drive out all the way past there. Like, We drive out to like right there, and it's just completely submerged underwater. There's nothing, just no spot. You see all these logs. No, like the side, like the parts, oh, like yeah. this is a cove that you can park. It's usually like a 12-foot drop from the barrier right there. What, you think over there somewhere? Yeah, we're gonna walk up on that little thing. We're gonna walk through these woods. I mean, we're gonna walk out there and see what we can do. What? <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Is that a shark? Imagine. The water is so up. This is usually no water. You can usually walk all the way out, and it's like a 20 foot drop, but like, it's not a 20 foot drop anymore. so scary. We can set up camp in here. <laughs> Bro, actually? No cab? Like, we get a cab. It's a lot quieter. It's sort of going to be loud. But... You can put, we can put the mattress in here with the sleeping mat. Freaking awesome. It's like our own castle. Do you think we should go in here, guys? I mean, what, is, what are your thoughts? This is where I wanted to fish in the morning. You can usually sit here and just pass out. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what are the odds of one of us falling if we just camp out here? Um, There's also a lot of freaking debris. Yeah, like our freaking poles are going to be bouncing all over the place. Who knows that there's sharks? It's a there. shark! Nature calls. Nature calls.
I don't know how well you guys can see this, but we used to drive down here. We would drive out 100 yards. Through there, 100 yards out. But man, the water's right here. I can get my truck right there. <laughs> you coming? Turn this way. Got barb on it. And they literally forgot the security tag. Screw you guys. <laughs> Just trying to be warm tonight. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry about the sound, it's really bad. What? We're kind of nestled in this little spot. Let me show you guys a time lapse of us getting her set up. We gotta do what we gotta do. We're riding the struggle bus. We tend to do that a lot. So anyways, stick with us. We might have to do, just do six ounces on each one then, at least. It's hard to tell. That's one thing about fishing these currents. I mean, look at that current, show them. Like, you got movement all the time and you have to be able to know if there's a fish on or if it's just bobbing around in the current. It's hard to tell. It is indeed. Possibly the first bite on an absolutely terrible night. Fish? Can't tell. No fish. False hopes. No fish. It just got snagged on some fishing line. It dropped it straight in. I am sad. You know Candace? Candace? Yeah, I know Candace. Okay, just making sure. Oh, oh. I give it some of that badonky dong. That badonky dong, baby boy. That is not the kind of energy that I need right now. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> what is it? There's a tire over there. I think what snagged us was this tire. This is a simulation. Oh! Yeah. What did you just jump in <laughs> without telling you or anything? I'd be a little shook. <laughs> what the? But then he looked and I like caught myself like Michael Jackson. And then the FBI was here. And then Obama came. FBI, open up! Approximately 2% of everything we're doing right now is not going to plan. You mean 98% of what we're doing is not going to plan? What'd I say? 2% is not going to plan, which means 98% is. And I would not say that's the... That's exactly what I mean. It's been an absolutely terrible night. But we're going to make the best out of it. And hopefully catch at least one fish. At least one. What do you think? I think I'm having a blast. <laughs> it's just a current, it's so strong. We'll know when something hits it because that drag will... We thought it was snagged, I told him just to leave it, just in case, and it's... I don't think it's snagged anymore, but I don't know if it's a fish. It was a snag, but then there was a piece of wood on the front of it, on the top of the water, moving it around. I gotcha. Okay, I'll just be straight up honest with you guys. This, so far, has been a fail here and a fail there. The only thing that would make this better is if there was a fish on the line, but two of our poles are pretty much out of commission. We're pretty much running off of one or two poles right now because we have, I don't know, maybe 10 square feet to work with. The entire freaking lock. Like, I've never seen the river this high before. And it has, it's been what, like five days since it's rained? There's no way of knowing. This spot's like an hour away from where we usually fish. It's an hour and a half. It's, it's, it's like an hour and a half away. And usually we can catch some pretty big fish here, but the audio is bad because we're literally right next to the dam. I couldn't even build a tent. <laughs> The foods! 
Well, the food's good. The snacks are we very packed, nice. We pack some pretty baller snacks. Um, the bed is a twin size. Way smaller than we thought. The only thing that's going right is Eric's not here. How big was the fish? Dude. <laughs> you look right in it. Holy moly. Bro. If I fall, I'm going to fall right onto that axe. Did you die? You want me to axe myself? <laughs> axe yourself what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you fall and die, I'm leaving you out here. Come on, let's get cozy. Bro, you're making this air mattress unbalanced. It's a twin mattress. <laughs> what? It's a twin size mattress. My freaking back is gone. Weird. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a freaking fan of the deck. Alright, guys. Zero luck. Just like I had said, absolutely nothing. The water is going like so fast. Um, the water is just too up to, to fish the muskeg of the night. It's like 1.30 in the morning right now. We're done fishing here. We're gonna get packed up. We're gonna go home, like an hour and a half away. We're gonna go back home, maybe get a nap before we get in some good morning bass fishing. What's up guys? It's the next morning. Beautiful, crisp morning. We got the boat out. We're going to. We're gonna get the boat out. Where are we going? Uh, like, we have, we're not gonna top the best night fishing we ever had in our lives last night. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, well, we're going to the lake with my friend Warren. We're getting the boat out. We're getting things set up. We're gonna take you guys with us and hopefully we can get a fish on camera for you guys. I know it's a lot to ask from us nowadays. Yeah. All right, we're all... Go get some fish! Actually, let's go get some food first. How okay. about that? Some food? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna catch some fish. Finally. We can all thank this guy for literally just spinning around in circles while we're trying to get on the loading dock. What's he doing? He's spinning around in circles. This is the third time he's spun around. M electric motors only. My guy is cranking his freaking gas motor. That's hilarious. If you drive off, you should be good. Keyword should. Ah, ah, stop. You almost flipped it. There he is. I get to, I, I can tell that it's you because I heard your subwoofer from like <laughs> two miles away. Like my name's Warren. Uh, my friend from a YouTube channel. If you can subscribe. <laughs> no, he didn't have you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Screw you, buddy. <laughs> Steph Curry. Let's have more luck than us.
nice day out at least. Yeah, it's true. It's a beautiful day to fish. Well, we can mark this lake off the list of things that we've tried. We didn't conquer this one. I'll tell you that right now. We pretty much trolled around the entire bank of the lake. No luck. No luck. I had one bite. Uh, didn't. I tried to set the hook, but nothing. Nothing at all. Um, so that being said, it was a very disappointing fishing trip both days. Not a single fish was caught. Not a single fish was caught, and nor were we comfortable the very first night. So, you're gonna have that sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna have that sometimes, but. You just gotta keep trying. You just gotta keep getting out there. You, you gotta keep getting your lines wet. Eventually, you're gonna catch one, but you're definitely gonna have those days where you, where you get skunked. And normally, it wouldn't matter. But when you literally make YouTube videos, it kind of sucks. There's like no content to show you guys. So there was a ton of stuff that happened that wasn't even worth filming because it wasn't interesting enough, so. But anyways, sorry for the zero fish, but I hope you guys still had fun. I hope you guys had a couple laps. See you guys next week, Creek Kings out. See you guys. Peace. Go!